Meghan Markle's mum, Doria Ragland, has spoken out about her granddaughter and Prince Harry's marriage as part of their new Netflix docuseries. One thing that made us laugh from reports, Doria said that she knew Harry was the one for a daughter. When we first heard this, we knew it was code for money and privilege. So, so much for saying that Trevor Engelson was the one. This also gives the audience an idea of the type of person that Doria is. Tom Bauer went over a lot of this in his book on the Sussexes. He said that she cheated on Thomas Markle when they were married, and she wasn't mother material, despite Meghan saying her mother raised her when she didn't. Lately, Samantha Markle debunked all of Doria's lies in her interview with Nate the lawyer. She makes it very clear that Meghan was primarily raised by her father. There is so much proof out there that Meghan's dad was the primary parent and that he did everything for her, yet she continues to double down on the lies. No other family member of Meghan's attended the 2018 royal wedding outside of Doria. However, according to the docuseries, Ashley was supposed to go to the wedding, but didn't because the palace said not to invite anyone associated with Samantha. Do we believe this? No, we don't. Why don't we believe this version of events? Catherine's uncle attended her and William's wedding, and he'd done worse things than Samantha. Also, there were more likely to be disruptions at the Wales's wedding from family and friends, given William was in direct line to the throne. Harry, at the time of his wedding to Meghan, was sixth in line to the throne. He was never that important. So, what does this have to do with Ashley? It's laughable that the palace was worried about Samantha's daughter usurping the event. It wouldn't be surprising if Ashley were paid. Samantha believes Meghan didn't want anyone at the wedding who might expose that Meghan lied to the royal family about her background. And Meghan needs to make it seem like she never had a close relationship with her father, so she doesn't look so bad in the public eye after she treated him like shit since she met Harry. Samantha said, It's so much rhetoric at this point and so many lies have been thrown out there, debunked, and yet still there's this repeated need to push the narrative. She said, It was really surprising to hear that there was a narrative spun that made Ashley feel like she was not invited because of something having to do with me. I heard from a royal insider who knows it was up to Meghan, so Meghan lied to my daughter, which made my daughter feel begrudging of me. She added, I can see how my daughter would have felt torn between the two, and then feelings perhaps like she couldn't go to the wedding because of me. Harry and Meghan had teased prior to the docuseries that revelations would be a plenty. Speaking in the second of two trailers released by Netflix, Harry told producers, it's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened? Meghan also mentioned in the first trailer that, when the stakes are this high, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? Needless to say that following the release of two trailers, a number of high-profile commentators and presenters blasted the Sussexes for what could be a damning reflection on the royal family. Piers Morgan has branded Harry a hypocrite and insisted the pair is stripped of all royal titles while Princess Diana's former butler Paul Burrell has also condemned the series. 